Well, hi everyone. I'm Ken Ham, CEO of Answers and Genesis Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter. We're here in our beautiful 2,500 seat auditorium. It's called the Answer Center at the Ark Encounter, where we have the life-size Noah's Ark attraction. We have a special announcement for you. Now, this is really special. We have special guests here, and who are they? Oh, I remember. <laughs> We have the Collingsworths with us today. And you are coming back here, April 8, 9, and 10. You were here in 2019, oh. and the place was packed. It was sold out for, what, three days? Three days. That was absolutely incredible. You're coming back for three more exciting yeah. days at the Ark Encounter, April 8, 9, and 10. You won't want to miss this. You may as well just move to Kentucky, <laughs> move to Northern Kentucky here. But I'm going to get Phil to tell us all about what's happening. but. Five different sessions, three days. Yeah. You can get a ticket that includes entrance to the Ark Encounter, the Creation Museum, yeah. the parking, and of course, to sit in on some phenomenal programming, yeah. not just the Collingsworth family, no. but many other guests as no. well. No. So Phil, get us excited. Well, thank you, Ken, for inviting us and letting us be here today with you. And uh, nice to see all of you. And boy, it's nice to have the whole crew here. I mean, we rolled out early and got here. And it's so great to be here today. Always enjoy coming to the Ark. And we're looking forward to April very much. April 8, 9, and 10. Uh, we'll do, be doing what we did last year. And uh, we've got some great friends coming. This crew right here are huge fans of Lauren L. Harris. He has been a classic in the Christian music industry. And he's going to be joining us this year, along with Pastor Jim Cimbala, who's a very special friend of the Collinsworth family. I think, what, six, seven years we've been going to the Brooklyn Tabernacle, singing with the Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir. And so, uh, of course, last year, the whole choir the came whole choir here. Hit. They filled this <laughs> stage. I mean, this is an enormous stage here, and they filled it. Filled it one side to the other. And boy, I think the engineers were uh, peddling fast. 200 and some people up here on this stage. But they were here last time. This time, their pastor is coming. He was in Korea last time we were here. Wow, that'll be he really was, something. He was speaking with uh, Franklin Graham in Korea. Mm -hmm. And so this time, Pastor Jim Simba will be here on the Friday night of our um, three-day event. And boy, it's going to be exciting. So April 8, 9, and, and 10, 10 of 2021. And I know you're going to tell us more about what's happening, yeah. but where do they go to find out information? That's the, it, it's a, it's a one-stop shopping. They can go right mm -hmm. straight to inspirationencounter.com. And right there, you can click, you can get all the information and you can click and go straight and get your tickets. InspirationEncounter.com. Yeah, I got right. a feeling you got the word encounter <laughs> from Ark Encounter. Would that be right? Oh, that would be right. And it was a perfect marriage. It's an inspiration tell. encounter here yeah. at the Ark, Ark Encounter. encounter. Right. Excellent. Great marketing <laughs> idea. <laughs> I must have learned something. Actually, from I'm that. getting so excited. I'm going to go on there now and find out about it and get a ticket. But uh, So tell us something about the programs. Well, I tell you one thing I'm going to have you do. I'm going to just let the... The, uh, the crew here tell us about some of the things they were so excited about in 2019 last year and what you have coming up that you're really looking forward to. So Kim, you get us started. Well, actually, one of the things that stands out to me about last year's event was the worship that took place. It was incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, it was three days of just gathering together and worshiping the Lord. And we had, as they said, phenomenal music. Brooklyn Tabernacle, of course, was over the top, the choir. Mm -hmm. And uh, just so many, many great artists. But um, we had a group of people for six months that fasted and prayed for this event. And let me just tell you something, it paid off because the people left encouraged. They left very, very blessed in their hearts. And we need that today. More than ever, we need that right now. And so it was, it, that, that sticks in my mind probably more than anything else was the worship that took place. And it was happy. It was a joyful time. It really was. So that was my big deal. And that's exactly what we're anticipating this year as well. Greater Vision will be with us. The Booth Brothers will be with us. Uh, I'm, I'm about Davis. got to look on the screen to see Ken, Ken Davis, <laughs> Gordon Moat, of course, Lauren Al Harris, the Collingsworth family. And I'll tell you the most special thing to me, but let's let them talk first, then we'll come back to that. Hey, you, so. you know what, too, when you think about it, 2020 has been an interesting year. <laughs> and <laughs> Think about coming out of 2020 into 2021, people want to get out and have a time of joy yes. and praise. And yeah. this will be a fantastic way of doing it. Yes. Yes. Cabin fever. 
<laughs> yes, that's right. Get over the cabin fever. Well, I echo exactly what she said. The worship atmosphere was just kind of a breath of fresh air for not only us on the stage, but the people in the seats. Um, and also the variety. We had a lot of variety last year. Obviously, like you mentioned, the Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir filled the stage, and obviously that was an event in and of itself. Right. And then uh, uh, we did several sessions, and then other groups like the Booth Brothers and Greater Vision and, and some great comedy, too. From last year, we had Dennis Swanberg. This year, we'll have Ken Davis, who is a hilarious Christian comedian, really just helps everybody just kind of relax in, in this big environment. But the vari variety of the artists, the, uh, the worship atmosphere, I mean, it really just seems to be a breath of fresh air that a lot of people want, want you know, to, when they come to an event like this. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, he must be a good comedian because his first name's Ken. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, hundred yeah. percent. Something that was memorable for me was getting to kiss a llama over at the ark. So <laughs> you kissed a llama? I, yeah. Well, pretty close. They gave me a little treat, and I put it right here, and he ate it right there. <laughs> so they they said I I've kissed, a, kissed llama, a llama, and they they put it on TV. TBN aired it, so it's a little embarrassing, but that was one of my highlights. <laughs> and next year, I'm really looking forward to just the beautiful spring weather that we're going to have, hopefully, and just uh, getting to be with people again. So it's yeah. going to be fun. So a highlight for me last year was probably, I know everyone said the Brooklyn Tabernacle, that was incredible. Just seeing them all in Kentucky was so cool. Yeah. Just, they wanted to go to Cracker Barrel. That was the one <laughs> thing they wanted, <laughs> was because in New York City, they don't have anything like that. And then the second highlight was actually getting to hear you speak. Oh, yeah. Um, we did, I had never heard you speak in person, oh, so. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so getting to hear Mr. Ken Ham speak was uh, definitely a highlight for me. And then next year, I am very much looking forward to hearing Larnell Harris sing and uh, also hearing Pastor Jim Cimbala speak. Yeah. So last year, my kids had never been to the ark before. And so I got to take them through the petting zoo and talk to them literally about, because the ark is right here and then the zoo's right here. And so it was neat to kind of instill in their heads that animals like this were literally all packed in that big boat right there. And it was kind of a great mom teaching moment. That's kind of my, my season of life. Well, you know what you'll be able to do next year uh, is take them to the virtual reality experience. Because oh, no, we have a brand that. new virtual reality experience here where you sit in seats that are the highest tech such seats in the world and they move and so on so when you put the virtual reality glasses on and then suddenly you're there at the ark encounter but we take you back in time to the time of noah and you actually go through the ark and you see it being built and and then the flood waters come and it's the ark's moving and so on and you actually feel like you're flying around it actually feels like you're moving in the air flying around it, you, you go into the water of the flood and you survive. You come out again. <laughs> wow. uh, they so. would definitely love that. They're both adventurers, so I think, I think we can get their heads around that. Yeah. And then next year, um, I'm looking forward to being with people again because yeah. it's been such a strange year, like you said. And so I think it's going to be a good kickoff to hopefully a much better year. Yeah. yeah, maybe we can have some actual, you know, personal meet and greets or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right now it's sort of social distance uh, meet yeah. and greets. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, tell us, Kim, about what's going to be taking place on Saturday morning. Well, Saturday morning, that's yeah. what I was going to come back to, is I come from a very large family. I have four brothers, four sisters. Mother and daddy are 75 and 76 and have 41 grandchildren and 40 great-grandchildren as of yesterday. They've had two more come this week. <laughs> and so um, wow. I grew up learning how to do music and learning to sing and to play um, just from my background, my roots. Uh, my roots go back to West Virginia and banjos and guitars and all that kind of stuff. And so I grew up in a singing family and we are bringing 81 of my family members all here to the ark on Saturday morning. Uh, some years ago, we got together at Thanksgiving and we sang a song called Bigger Than Any Mountain written by Gordon Jensen around the piano at Thanksgiving and it became a YouTube kind of sensation. Yeah. And I don't know how many millions of views we've had. And so that crew that you saw on that uh, singing that song, they're all coming here to the ark and mother and daddy uh, are coming and all of my siblings and grandchildren and nieces, nephews, whatever. And uh, we're gonna sing harmony and we're going to tell of the goodness of God. Um, most of my family are in ministry and it's, it's been a phenomenal uh, thing to be raised in this big of a family. Kind of a zoo, you know. You know? What? This is probably going to upstage the Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir. <laughs> oh, I don't choir. know. I don't know. But uh, anyway, so I, that obviously is a highlight that so, I'm really looking forward to next year, and I don't think you'll want to miss that. We have some very, very special things planned. And I presume, Kim, you will play the banjo? <laughs> no, I'm going to stick to the piano. Hey, if you're here, we'll do a duet because I hear you play. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no I don't play. I, 
Oh. I don't know what you call it. Australia, it's, I don't know, mucking around. <laughs> mucking around. <laughs> <laughs> it's hammy tonk. <laughs> so, so, Kim, on back to that, there's quite a number of those uh, great grandkids that are under age six. And about, I, 35. about 35 of them are under age six. They're not going to be there no. that morning because <laughs> that could be a Katie bar the door. Well, hey, if well, they were here, they could probably dismantle a whole right, stage. Exactly. <laughs> with anything like our grandkids. <laughs> That's for sure. It's going to be an exciting time, Ken. We're really looking forward to be back here again. Well, it's going to be phenomenal. What an opportunity for people. April 8, 9, 10. Make sure you get your tickets because oh. last year it all sold out. It did. And we want to make sure that you can get in to get a seat so make sure you go on there and get the tickets i'll get you to uh, give the web address once more here and five different programs right starting Pl thursday night and through saturday and then plenty of time for them to visit the ark oh. and the creation museum and their yeah. ticket includes entrance to the ark the creation museum oh. which is 45 minutes from here which is oh. a phenomenal yes. walk through the bible and we've added a lot of things there too and oh. a brand new laser projection system in our planetarium but parking is included as well with the ticket yeah. So this is all inclusive yep. and to come and experience not just the Collingsworth family, but all those other guests that you have as well. Gordon Moat, it's going to be quite interesting, something on, uh, on the Friday morning edition. Gordon is a phenomenal pian pianist. He's been blind since birth. And uh, I've, he, I've seen him on television quite exactly, a lot. Exactly, yeah. and he played for the Gaither Vocal Band for many years. Wow. So when you see him and Kim together on two different grand pianos going at oh, it, it's just something that, to see. <laughs> you know what? That might upstage right. the Brooklyn Tabernacle. <laughs> We're going to upstage them anyway. So it's going to be <laughs> a fun <laughs> watching this. Yeah. <laughs> the, I tell you what, I don't know if I've ever seen a crew of people enjoy something more than the, the choir did last year. Because yeah. most of them had never been out of New York City. Oh. And to come to Kentucky, I mean, they were I beside know. themselves. <laughs> this place was rocking. <laughs> it, was. it was. It definitely was. So we're very much looking forward to it, Ken. Thank you for the uh, open door for the Collinsworth family and to bring inspiration and counter here. Now, there are some partner hotels too, aren't there? That's correct. And the um, marketing people that do the ticketing here mm -hmm. at the Ark have all those lists of uh, different hotels. They're also listed on the site. And so those partner hotels give special pricing for those that yeah. are going to come uh, and to thankfully, this there's some program. new ones coming in here, and, some new uh, hotels. There are, there are. There's a new one not far from here at yeah. all. So this is really exciting. Tell us the web address again. It's uh, www.inspirationencounter.com. It's all right there, and you can buy your tickets. Just click, and it goes right straight to the ARC's ticketing site and gets you um, set up to come next year. So the easiest way to remember it is ARC Encounter, delete ARC, put in inspiration, yeah. inspiration encounter. <laughs> See, I always try to think of easy ways to remember things. Is that an easy way? That's, that's a very, very easy way. <laughs> <laughs> inspirationencounter.com. And get all the information. Great to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you. And you. now you're going to drive home again? That's correct. Ah, we're going to okay. eat at the restaurant. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to eat at the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll see you all here April 8, 9, 10 for one of the most exciting programs you could ever have anywhere in the whole universe. Yeah. <laughs> right here at the Ark Encounter Answer Center. April 8, 9, and 10. InspirationEncounter.com.